So today's video is going to be a slightly different video. It's going to be about a web browser. It's going to be about Opera. They've got a new developer uh, mode out, which you can download from the link below. But basically, they've added a few new features. Um, one, which is one of my favorite features, which is a built-in ad block. So to do that, you just go settings and you just go basic and it's right there, block ads. Whereas with my Google Chrome, I have to manually install it, which then adds more workload on top of it and can actually slow your browsing down whereas opera is built in and it's gonna make your load quicker on web pages anyway now that is not about today's video today's video is about a brand new thing they've introduced in the developer mode of opera and that is a built-in vpn uh, to get to it, it's very simple you literally go settings and privacy and vpn if you don't see it when you first install opera uh, you'll see this menu here so you've got to go to the customized start page go to navigation and make sure the settings is turned on you'll just see it's just there and when you go settings and then privacy again VPN is right there and this is great because obviously I live in the UK and when it comes to Netflix it can be quite a bitch when it comes to certain programs like we don't get Family Guy we don't get I'm trying to think whether we don't get Supernatural or anything like that so when you notice when VPN is turned on it will take a much longer to load pages depending on your internet speed now compared to my normal internet speed this is taking forever because I'm usually pretty quick but it will take much longer so if I just quickly log in the VPN's turned on at the moment. So I'm currently, you've got the choice of three countries. You've got the United States, you've got Germany, and you've got Canada. So if this hurries up and loads, I choose me. And as you can see, I continue to watch the Vampire Diaries in the originals. If I scroll down, we all of a sudden have Family Guy in Grey's Anatomy and then Walking Dead in the Flash. We don't get that in the UK and we don't get the American Horror Story or Arrow. Now if I hop over to Germany, if I turn it off actually and go to the UK version, should load much quicker i'm hoping there we go see it's much quicker reloading it and you can see there's no family guy or anything previously this is the british version just type in family guy and uh, it's not there we don't have it at all we don't have the walking dead uk's netflix is pretty crap to be fair not gonna lie but yes we can go walking dead we ain't, i spelled dead wrong but we ain't got walking dead we ain't got family guy we ain't got any of those sort of shows so it's great for me to be able to go onto the american netflix and then start watching family guy because if i want to watch family guy i've got it there and it's pretty great to do if i ever if I ever wanted to watch Supernatural, I've never watched it before, then I can. I've got The Walking Dead, if I want to catch up on The Walking Dead. I can all do it here on the American Netflix without having to download another program like Hot uh, Spot, Spot Shield, I think it is, or Spot Flux and Hot Spot Shield. They cost about £15 to $20 a month, and that's quite taxing. Considering this is built in for free, this is actually a great new feature, and when they get more feedback, they will then keep it in permanently. So I literally, I'm recommending you to download it try it out and then make sure the feedback comes in and everything's working great so thank you guys for watching you guys enjoy this and i'll see you guys 